I love sports from an incredibly young age. So I started playing when I was younger than six. And just when I would play, I would think through like actually calling the game. I would watch the baseball game of the week and come back in the house and I would rebroadcast it like on the ceiling fan in the bathroom uh, off the family room. And so um, I knew early I either wanted to play or broadcast. When I was in Hawaii, working in media over there, I would do like 40, 50 games a year and developed a love for basketball at a higher level. Learned all of it and really enjoyed all of it and enjoyed the preparation that I put in going into games and just knew that that was gonna be my pursuit. And, and I really felt like I had a self-belief that probably as I listened back to early tapes, there was no reason for it, honestly. It's like, I listen back and say, my God, it's hideous. <laughs> but I didn't realize that. And I just, I stayed with it because my heart was in it. It's been an incredible adventure and journey. I never would have foreseen it when I got hired by the Hornets in 89. I'd never been to Charlotte. And it turned out that was the first opportunity in the NBA with the Hornets. The way the community fell in love with that organization at the time, Reminds me a little bit of what's gone on in Oklahoma City since I've been here the 16 seasons. Good evening, welcome to Oklahoma City Thunder Basketball. I'm Matt Pinto above courtside at Oklahoma City. I, I want to say that the first 32 games for the Thunder in Oklahoma City, they started 3-29. and 29. It was something along those lines. A year later, they're a 50-win team in the playoffs. So it was something pretty magical about what Sam Presti had done beginning in Seattle, the final season there, and developing the young talent that he uh, generated through the draft. And to watch those guys grow and develop, to watch this community fascinated by that development and growth and always in full support, even during the 3-29 and start, it was special. It just, there was a connectivity between the community, I'd say even the state, um, and the Thunder from the outset. And this is an organization that's built on that. And, and that's one of the reasons I'm so proud to represent the Thunder and have been for all 16 seasons. Getting not yet given the ball. They're up at Chase Center, 1.6 to play. Thunder down three, 117-114. Getting given it. Pass fakes. Corner left to check. Fades and fires at the buzzer. It's online. He got it. Chachink and Thunder money ball. Just couldn't imagine 3,000 games or 34 seasons or, you know, being blessed at the level that I have been to call games for players that are Hall of Fame players, to develop relationships along the way. Down the lane, dump is fed by Gideon, gorgeous bounce pass off the right wing for the right hand sledgehammer slam, time out Houston. I believe radio will always have a place, um, and it's a special place for kids growing up learning to love the sport. I know I remember calls with Johnny most of the Celtics when I was growing up. And then when I was in LA, uh, before I got that first broadcast job in the NBA, Chick Hearn with the Lakers. Those guys, you know, help form an imagination for the sport that allows you to grow and feel closer to the sport. The baseline, jump passing low to Zubac, whose dunk is blocked by Holmgren. Dub has it, long leading Joe, swooping up the left baseline for the two hand tomahawk dunk. I feel like that's my responsibility and job. and. Um, have, because I love the game and I think you hear the passion in that love for the game and I feel a real responsibility to the fans that I want to make certain of their eyes and their all of their senses because they can't see what's going on to be as descriptive as possible. He is cool, calm, confident, consistent, and is he ever clutch? 